guys, it's Claire, and I haven't done a video in a while, like an actual video, so I decided to make one today because recently I finished my sketchbook and I've moved on to uh, this new sketchbook, which I've been using in some of my videos. I decorate it with a lot of stickers, um, but that's what I've been using to do most of my shorts with now but now that i finished in this notebook i decided it would be fun to show you guys all the drawings or most of the drawings i've done in this notebook i don't know if i'll be able to show every single one of my drawings but i'll try to show most of them or the best ones i did date every picture in this book so it started on april the 16th this was the first picture i did um this was the first anime person I ever drew, and I was really proud of how they looked, so then I just started drawing a lot more, because I had no idea what my style was. So I drew a bunch of these anime characters. I actually had to watch tutorials to do a couple of these, because I had just started out and had no idea how to draw them. After a while, I got pretty good where I could just look at a picture. This was me trying to do one. I didn't look at any picture, any reference to do this. Obviously, it's not very good just because I was just starting out, trying to figure out. Most of the characters I did only showed like a profile picture, like their face. And I actually did not do many bodies <laughs> and I drew this was my uh, Pikachu's in a box that I drew and I used my POSC pins for this um, this was when I just got my POSC pins and I was testing them out on some drawings this is another one with POSC pins okay so this was the first drawing I did where I tried to make it look like more realistic than anime um, I really did like this, and I started doing more of these slightly more realistic-ish pictures. Um, this was, like, one of my favorite ones I did. I actually turned this into a painting. I liked it so much. I do kind of think the hoodie looks better as a drawing, but I still love the painting. I Here is a sunset picture that I did with this girl. Uh, this was a picture I drew. I guess I was trying to go for some sort of like candy girl um, She kind of looks like an lol But it's fine. Here's another galaxy person. I drew I was so happy with the first one I was like, oh, I'll do another one. She didn't turn out as good. The neck kind of was wonky But I love her hair. It looks really cool And I think I was looking at some sort of Disney princess for this and tried to draw that Okay, here's another person. I think I just found a picture on Safari for this. Okay, so this is when I had my first drawing with my Prismacolor markers. I don't, I never finished her, especially the skin color, because I never had a skin color marker. I might go back sometime and finish that with alcohol markers. Okay, um... Here's this drawing I drew. Uh, I saw it in a book and I drew it with my friend and I was so happy with this drawing. I don't know, it was just so cute and I, fun to do. Um, a couple of these I'm pretty sure I made some videos with. Obviously, of course, this was like one of my favorite drawings so I made it the picture for my YouTube channel just because I love the way the shading worked out in her hair and I just thought she looked so good. Here's another furry girl I did. I started to do a lot of furries. Um, this was the color challenge video, I believe, where I had to do draw a picture with limited colors. This was the picture that I used to the, the collab with uh, the Midnight Artist. Um, here's when I went back and started to do a little bit more anime because I had stopped a bit and I started drawing a couple dragons found this book on dragons and I wanted to try out some 
they look pretty good, but um, I think I enjoy drawing people more than animals, just because I'm better at it. But always room to improve. This was another girl I did. I, okay, so I did this girl and she was like a fox fairy or something and I loved her so much. So I made a video and then later on, I thought she needed more. So I added some shines and like dots to her dress with Posca pins. And I actually didn't film that because I did that like a couple weeks after and I just thought it looked incomplete. So I think she looks better now. Uh, here's another dragon I did. Okay, I drew this girl. I think I did her in one of my videos. Um, she was supposed to be some sort of, like a shy girl, so. Um, this is a unicorn girl. Of uh, I do like so many furries than the Eevee girl. I do quite a lot of furries. I need to finish this girl. I drew her and I liked her so much and I did not finish coloring her. I need to finish coloring her. She looks pretty good. Also drew this girl, which I thought was really cute, holding some sketchbooks. Along with this girl that I drew from a book. Okay, this girl, I drew something a little different. Like, her head was up, and I kind of thought, why is she looking up? So I drew rain around her like it's raining and put an umbrella over her. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, this was me trying to do watercolor. I think it looks okay. Not as amazing as I thought. It kind of got splotchy in some places. It looks okay, though. I still think the bunny is pretty cute. I was drawing clothes. I did a frog uh, clothes for a boy and frog clothes for a girl. <laughs> okay. Here's just a sketch I did. I never outlined it, but it is really cute. I drew a boy and a girl beside each other. The girl looks better than the boy just because I'm not as good at drawing boys as girls. I drew two girls with ice cream cone. And this was the OC challenge I did. Um, this was really fun to do. I did this with my brother and he drew something too, but I used um, my Prismacolor markers with this. And I didn't know how much they bled through, so they did bleed through a page. This was something else I tried to do Posca pins with. Okay, this was just a sketch me and my friend did at the pool. That was really fun. We were just, uh, I think I made a video out of it, yeah. And it was just fun, we were just drawing. Here's a girl I drew with like a bathing suit on. And this girl was like, I think she was supposed to be some sort of summer girl. I put a really big hat on her. I drew this girl and I made a short out of it, but I didn't color her in. And then later on, I did color her in, and I didn't add that in the short. Probably should have, but yeah, and I think she looks really much better now that she's colored. Oh, this was this bunny girl I drew. I didn't color her in. I was just trying to design a character, and I thought she looked pretty cute. Um, I guess she's still considered a furry since she's a half animal person. This is like the last picture in my book. I, in my, I. I think I'm gonna finish this because I'm almost done with it. But she looks so cute, she's holding some sketchbooks. I think I drew this with my friend too. And this was a really fun. But that was the last page of my notebook. And so I ended it around June the 10th. So that's my whole sketchbook that I did. It took me shorter time than I thought it would to finish it. But after drawing almost every day, like or a couple pages a day really the sketchbook fills up very quick now i've started drawing in my new sketchbook and i feel like i should have decorated my other ones i didn't do that i just decorated this one with a bunch of stickers and i'm excited to see how fast it takes me to fi uh, fill up this one but thank you guys for watching this video i will see you guys next time it's claire bye by the way, in my next video, I'm going to be drawing video game characters as anime. If you have any suggestions for that, leave it in the comments below. Bye!